Hello everyone, my name is Alex from the French-Canadian RV blog called Prêt pour la route. Today we're going to do something very special. We're going to install an easy start on our AC and run it out of our lithium batteries. So in order to run my AC out of my batteries, I would need to install this little device called the Easy Start by Microair. So this company sent me this little device that will be installed on the, uh, on the rooftop of my, uh, of my trailer. It's going to go in the AC, which is a Dometic uh, Penguin 2. And um, so it's a 15,000 BDU. And the problem is if I want to run it out of my batteries, there's a big surge at the beginning when you start the AC. Usually it's, it goes up to 30 amps and then it goes back down to about 12 or 13 amps. And uh, what this little device will provide is to reduce that surge by about uh, 70%. So it's going to go slowly uh, from 0 to uh, 12 to 13 amps without going up to 30 amps. It will also allow me to replace my big 3000 watt uh, generator for a 2000 watt uh, generator and uh, it will also allow me to uh, run the AC out of uh, just a regular outlet from, uh, from a house. So right now I'm currently plugged in my mother-in-law's house so I'll be able to run my AC out of that. Also, if you have uh, two ACs and you need 50 amp service, if you put a little uh, easy start in each one of your uh, AC, you will be able to run them out of a 30 amp outlet, so instead of a 50. So if you're in a campground and you don't have the 50 amp service, you'll be able to run it anyways. So without further ado, let's go install that. Before starting the installation, it's very important to unplug the electricity and turn the AC breakers off on the electrical panel. Once I get on the roof, I will remove the four screws that are holding the uh, cover of the AC. Once the cover is removed, then I can start my installation using the instructions provided by Microair. They provide instructions depending on what brand of AC you have on your roof. Mine is the Dometic Penguin 2. So this is the spot where I'll be mounting my uh, Microair Easy Start. And you can see that there's a copper tube that's running really close to the unit. So I'll try to bend it to get it a little bit further away. When you order your Microair Easy Start, I strongly recommend you buy the installation kit. It includes everything you will need for your installation. Before I apply the double-sided tape, I'll clean the Easy Start with a little bit of alcohol to make sure it sticks perfectly. And then I'll stick it to the uh, styrofoam instead of screwing inside of the styrofoam. The next step is to run the wires from the Easy Start to the electrical box of the AC. You'll have to remove this little gummy thing in order to run your wires through the hole. And then once your uh, wires are run through the hole, then you can put the gummy thing back in place and make sure everything is sealed correctly. The next step is to attach the Easy Starts wire to the existing wires that are going to the uh, electrical box on the AC. And I'll be using some zip ties to do that. And then we'll open the electrical box and try to run the um, Easy Starts wire into the electrical box. In order to run your Easy Starts wire inside of the electrical box, you'll have to remove this little uh, black plastic uh, grommet. And once your wires are inside of the box, then you can put the new one that's provided in the installation kit. The new one is uh, a little bit larger, so it allows you to uh, have a little bit more space to run your wires through. Once I put back in place the new plastic grommet, then I can uh, use some zip ties and make sure that uh, all the wires are secured. We're now going to start the electrical part of the installation and the first step is to remove the red wire that's going to the start capacitor. There's also a white wire that's going from the start capacitor to the run capacitor, so we'll also get rid of this wire. So these are the two wires that I removed, so the white wire and the red wire. The next step is to plug the orange wire coming from the Easy Start on the run capacitor at the same place that I just removed the white wire going to the run capacitor. On the top of the run capacitor you will find the letters H-E-R-M and there's a white wire that's connected on this terminal so you'll unplug that one and then you'll cut the end and splice it together with the brown wire coming from the Easy Start. 
I'll be using one of the connectors uh, provided inside of the installation kit to make sure that the wires are secured together. And I'll be adding a little bit of electrical tape to make sure the wires don't move. As for the white wire coming from the Easy Start, we will plug it into the uh, HERM terminal. The next step is to remove the blue wire and to replace it with the black wire that's included in the uh, installation kit. We will then splice it and connect it with the black wire coming from the Easy Start. We will cut the connector from the blue wire, splice it and attach it to the two black wires we just attached together. Once again, I'll be using a connector and I'll use my crimper tool to make sure that the wires are secured. So I'm currently using the new Easy Touch, which is the new uh, wireless RV thermostat made by uh, MicroAir. So they sent it to me for uh, testing. So right now I'm able to control my AC from my uh, iPhone. And um, I'm currently doing the, um, the learning process for the Easy Start. So I have to start the AC for 30 seconds and then uh, I have to shut it back off. And again, do that five times. And after that, the uh, Easy Start will have learned the, uh, the, the compressor, how it works. So then I'll be able to unplug short power and then I'll be able to just try to run it out of my batteries. Yeah, it's cold. So one important thing while you're doing the uh, learning process is you have to be connected to shore power. So uh, if your RV is a 30 amp, so you have to be plugged to 30 amp. That's what I have here on the house. And uh, if you want to do it off the grid, the learning process, you have to do it on uh, a generator and uh, it has to be off of the echo mode. So don't put it in the echo mode because otherwise the learning process is not going to do it properly and it's not going to work as it should. So now the learning process is completed. So now I have to try to do my test and run it out of the, uh, the battery. So I'm a little bit stressed out about that. All right, first things first, I have to turn on the inverter. The stressful part, let's start the AC with the inverter. Let's go. So you can see that my battery is currently at 99%, so I'm almost full. And I'll be able to see the output power here on the inverter, which is a 2000 Samlex inverter. All right, here it goes. So now the fan is on. So I can now see that I, the current is 19.4, uh, 19.6 amps. And now we'll wait about 30 seconds until the uh, compressor kicks in and that's where we're gonna see if it's working. Oh no, there's an input, input fault. Oh, little problem. So what I'll do is I'll try to call uh, MicroAir and see if they have a solution to my problem. <laughs> Hi, good afternoon. It's uh, Alex. I called uh, a few minutes earlier. To I think the uh, the easy start is doing its job, but I'm not sure if it's if, if it, the problem comes from the inverter. All right, so that's good news. So I guess we're, we might be able to solve my problem. <laughs> I well, I do have a generator, but it's at uh, 3,000, so I, I was already able to run it. I do have a a portable eater, so and I think it's uh, 1,500 watts. Yeah, so, it's, so it should be able to run it, yeah. Oh no, I, yeah, I had the same, uh, the same fault again. Okay, so the problem would not be the, uh, the easy start, I guess. So it's like on 12 volt. So I have two batteries, two 12 volt batteries. So, all right, so it shows uh, 13.75. So that would mean that my, the wires are either too long or not, not big enough. All right, thanks. Thanks a lot for your app, uh, Nick. Have a good day. So now I know what's, what the problem is. Well, 90% of chances that the problem is the, the thickness of the wires that I, I use to uh, wire the inverter to the batteries. So that's causing that it's, it's not giving me the full 2000 watts. 
and we tested it with the uh, a portable eater that I have here in my in my trailer which is uh, 1500 watts and it was not able to run it too so I guess we, we probably know what the problem is the only thing is I won't be able to uh, solve it right now so I'll have to uh, get some new wires and uh, and see if I can get it to work uh, in the next few days all right guys so we're a few days later now and i changed my wires to some bigger gauge wire between my uh, inverter and my batteries so now i'm ready to test and see if it works so i will start by turning on the inverter and then i'll start the ac and see if it works so now in a few minutes the ac should start and i will be able to uh, track the output power on my uh, inverter remote and also on my Symarine uh, battery monitor, I'll be able to uh, see how many amp hours it's using. So right now you can see that I'm getting uh, 12, 13 amps uh, from my solar panels and my battery's almost full at 98% right now. All right, so that's the fan from the AC that just kicked in. And now, right here, we can see that it's, we're now pulling 10 amp hours with just with the fan. And we should see this number uh, go up gradually as the uh, compressor kicks in. Oh, here we go. So now we're at 78, 80, 85. So you can see it's going up gradually until it hits the, the maximum, so I think we're probably gonna stay around 90. So we can clearly see that the uh, MicroAir Easy Start did its job because the uh, amperage uh, really went up gradually instead of uh, giving me a big surge at the beginning and then go back down. So my inverter was able to run it. So I guess uh, Nick from the uh, support at MicroAir was right. It's just uh, the problem was the, the, the size of the, the wires that I was using from the inverter to the batteries. and. Uh, interesting fact, uh, I have 400 amp hours of uh, lithium batteries right now and 500 watts of solar power coming in and my Symarine uh, battery monitor is telling me that I could be able to run the AC for 3 hours and 13 minutes. So that's the maximum uh, of time that I, my AC would last on my batteries. So in this video, we were able to answer to the question, can we run the AC out of our lithium batteries? And the answer is yes, but not for a long period. So if we would like to run it for a longer period, we would need to have more solar panels on the Airstream and have a bigger battery bank, which is not the case right now. So I will probably keep on bringing uh, my generator, but I'll be able to switch my big 3000 watt generator for a smaller and lighter 2000 watt generator. MicroAir have been very helpful during the install and if you have any questions on the install or on the product, feel free to leave them in the comments below. So thank you for watching.